Hi, and welcome to day eight of our 10 Days to Better Posture Challenge. Thank you for joining me. Let's get started right away down on the mat. You will lay all the way down on your back today to get started. We're gonna do a classical Pilates exercise called the double leg stretch today to get started. So getting right into those abdominals. Here, and let's hug both knees into the chest right away. And take a moment to just draw those knees in. Keep the hands on the shins here. Nod your shin to the chest and curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. So now you're making a nice little ball here. Forehead to knees, knees to forehead. Next time you inhale, extend your arms out overhead and your legs straight out away from you. Keeping the chest lifted. So we're making this little like crescent moon shape. And then exhale and hug it back in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, hug it in. Again, inhale, extend. Exhale, hug it in. Two more. And hug it in. One more. And hug it in. Lower your body down. Rest your feet down on the mat and place your hands right next to your hips, laying by your side. We're going to actively press those arms down into the mat and notice how that widens your collarbones and opens your chest. Maintain that and make sure your ribs are nice and heavy into the mat. Let's take a big inhale here. As you exhale, roll your pubic bone towards your belly button and begin to peel the pelvis, the low back, the mid back, the lower ribs up off of the mat. You're pressing up into a bridge. Press down strongly through your feet. Take a breath at the top. And then exhale and roll it down. Drop the chest, drop the ribs, hollow the belly. Let it come all the way down. Take a breath at the bottom in neutral. I want you to roll your pelvis all the way forward into that nice neutral pelvis, lower back off the mat and then exhale and roll it up again. So we're moving through the anterior tilt and the posterior tilt of the pelvis so we can get that mobility through the low back and through the hip joints. Lower it all the way down, breathe out. Let's roll it up again. Roll it back down. One more time, roll it all the way up. This time we'll stay up. Take a second at the top to make sure you're pressing into your big toes, pinky toes, center of your heel, inner thighs drawing in towards each other slightly, knees pulling over toes. Now lift your arms up to the sky. Good, from here take your arms all the way back overhead, open them out to the side, and then bring them up back where they came from. So we're drawing circles, right? Big arm circles. Keeping the hips up nice and high, challenging those hamstrings and glutes. Open it around, two more there. Up. Open it around, good, last one. Up. Open it around and then just release that all the way down. And relax, good. Now we'll flip onto our sides. You wanna take your body back towards the back edge of your mat so that you can let your legs come a little bit forward of the body towards that front corner of the mat. We're gonna take the hands and place them behind the head here. So interlace the fingers and then go ahead and gently press your head back into your hands so we get that nice open chest, long neck, and a little bit of work through the spinal extensors. From there, lift your top leg up to hip level. Maintain that height. Kick your leg forward as far as you feel like you can. We're gonna take these slow here so we get nice range of motion. And then let your legs stretch all the way back as far as you can without having to twist your body forward, right? So we're nice and strong and stable through that upper body as the leg moves really nice and freely. Kick it forward, stretch it back. Good, stabilizing through the center as the limbs move nice and freely. Now the arms aren't moving, but the legs are. Push it back. Good, take that again, kick it forward. Press that head into the hands, reach it back. Three more, three. Good, feel strong through the center. One more, really nice. Good, lower that leg down, switch right on over to the other side. So you're laying back towards the back edge of your mat. Feet come a little bit forward, that's gonna help us balance. Bring the hands behind the head and press the head into the hands. Lift that top leg up and then kick the leg forward and stretch it back, really nice. Kick it forward, stretch it back, good. And forward, and back, good. Kick it forward, and back, two more. Good, feel those front ribs drawing in slightly. Back. Good, relax from there, lay on your stomach right away. Moving on to some work for the upper back. 
We place the hands underneath the forehead here. Lower back is reaching long, so tailbone down towards the heels. Try to relax that lower back a little bit. And then from here, we're gonna focus on the upper back, that thoracic spine area at first. So you wanna keep your hands on the mat and lift just your head and your chest up away from the hands. Now we're gonna pause there and hold. Glutes are probably gonna turn on now, and that's fine. Lift your hands up to meet your forehead and then lower everything down together. So we're working those spinal extensors and we're working the shoulders. Lift the head and the chest up. Hold it there, bring your hands up to meet the forehead or as close as you can get, and then lower it back down. Small movement, lots of work, especially if we're a little weak in the back body, which most of us tend to be, because we do everything in front of us. Release it back down. Take that again, lift, and lift, and lower. Two more here, lift, and lift, and lower. One more, lift, and lift. Hold this time. If you need to lower a little bit, that's fine, but make sure you're hovering off the mat. Float your legs off the mat and start to pulse the heels together. Little heel beats here. Yep, yep good, and just keep breathing. Long energy reaches out of your body from crown of the head all the way down to the tail. Three more breaths. And two, and one. Relax all the way down, go ahead and sit back into your child's pose position to lengthen out that back body for a moment. Drop the forehead into the mat, reach the arms forward. Good, and then we'll sit up and bring the legs in front of us for a little play on our teaser. So we're not doing full teaser today, but we're gonna kind of Tease out our teaser, if you will. <laughs> Bring the arms out in front of you, knees are bent, feet are flat, reach those arms out in front of you. Tuck the tail under for a little low belly scoop, and then sit back up for a moment for me. Good, so we're just gonna play with those little pelvic tilts for a second, again, mobilizing the low back, mobilizing the hip joints. Two more. One more. Good. Now, we'll roll it back just a little. Our chest is staying lifted, and then we float our right leg up to tabletop position, and bring the left leg up to meet it. We squeeze the legs together, so the inner thighs are helping the hip flexors here. Reach those arms out in front of you, keep your chest lifted and strong. Now tap your fingers down to the mat, and then lift your arms all the way up till they line up with your ears. Tap it down, lift it up. Good, tap it down, lift it up, tap down. Lift up, you got this, three more, three. You can always straighten your legs if you want more of a challenge, that's up to you. One more. Good, relax those feet down, keep your arms up to the sky for me, and then circle them back behind you, getting another nice open chest moment. Arms are back behind you, fingertips pointing backwards or out to the sides, whatever works for your shoulders today. And then we're just gonna drop the knees to the right as you lift your chest higher up towards the sky. And then just move through the center and take that the other way. As the knees drop to the side, we lift our chest a little bit higher. You might notice that one side moves a little easier than the other, and that's fine. Come back to center. Sit all the way up. And you are all set for now. Nice work. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow for day nine.